What's going on, America? This is Kevin at Kevin's Corner. And um, I'm going to try to make some sense out of this latest nonsense. I guess his name is Tom Steyer, something like that. This uh, guy is a billionaire who's wasting money going around trying to gather all of these signatures to impeach the president. And I hope people are smart enough to see the danger in this. You don't impeach a president because you disagree with his policies or you just don't like his personality and you think he says harsh words that make you feel bad on the inside. That right there is tampering with democracy as a whole. And the way that they're trying to do this is by amplifying and over exaggerating the rhetoric, the narratives that they've all come up with concerning Donald Trump to make everyone think that life is completely miserable. Someone made a comment on one of my videos and said, you know what? Uh, we're all suffering. And I said, are you serious? Hopefully, people that make comments like that have been victims of manipulation, making them think that a problem is way bigger than it really is. When you use words like suffering, what has Donald Trump done thus far by being president that have made you feel like you're suffering? When I think of suffering, I'm thinking of, say, an African slave taking a journey to America in the bottom of the slave ship where it's hot, they're laying in their own feces and urine. Um, it's they're dying, there's dead bodies. That's suffering. When I think of suffering, I think of the Jews during the Holocaust where they were freezing and being starved and experimented on and being killed by the millions. That's suffering. When I think of suffering, I think about certain areas in in Africa and in, in, in places where there's droughts and there's famine and there's starvation. That's suffering. When I think about suffering, I think of people who are suffering with cancer. Their bodies are just being eaten alive um, or terminal illness. Those things qualify someone to say I'm suffering. But someone that for whatever reason, has been deceived by the liberal media that life has just become so drastic since Donald Trump has become president, you sound ridiculous. I'm suffering. We're suffering. Who's suffering? I'm not suffering. I mean, when I look at all of the changes that President Trump has made, I go, bravo, give that man a hand. Only the people who in their mind have made up these exaggerations that, oh my God, my rights are being rolled back. What rights? Hmm? I mean, you still able to go to work, make a living? I mean, did anybody bust into your house, drag you out in the middle of the street and shoot you for your opinion? Um, is anybody saying you cannot go and come as you please? You can't say what you want to say. Only people saying you can't say what you want to say are liberals, are the Democrats trying to silence everybody, including the president. Just because you don't like his personality, just because you maybe disagree with some of his policies, that doesn't mean that you say, let's get together and impeach the president. When you do something like that, now you are truly tampering with democracy. You think the Russians are bad? If we allow people who just don't like the president's personality or his policies to say, you know what, because of that, let's get him out of here. Where does that end? I mean, we didn't do that when President Obama made a deal with with Iran that sold Israel out. We didn't say, let's impeach this man. We didn't say that when he um, just shoved Obamacare down America's throats. We didn't say those are rights to, to impeach him. As much as I disagree with his policies, unless he has broken the law, you don't storm the White House with flames and torches and say let's get him out of there because that's what you're doing you're just trying to do it in a systematic way and i'm going who is this joker you know i mean if you want to see true 
uprising, do something like that. If you want to really undermine our faith in democracy, do something like impeach the president because of all the whining snowflakes and the Democrats and the liberals who saying, oh, my God, he hates everybody. And he said he said that Elizabeth Warren was Pocahontas. And then he once he did a meme on on uh, on the Twitter where he beat up CNN and look at all the bad things he's done. What what bad things has he done? Stock market is up. Um, other countries respect us. Um, he's handling North Korea the best that he can. Um, he's getting tax reform done. He's trying to address Obamacare. I mean, illegal immigration's down. What has he done? Please, somebody tell me. Please, and don't. If they throw up that fake Russian narrative and use that as an excuse to impeach the president that's going to be all bad. So my question to this guy who's out here wasting money, he could be putting that money towards something productive, but my question to him is what qualifies you to go out and have a legitimate reason to impeach the president? And have you really considered the fallout of that? If that, if that happened, would, have you really considered how crazy America would become if all of the millions of people who voted President Trump in and are satisfied with the president? All of a sudden, the election basically just gets overturned by an angry mob of liberals who say we just don't like the person's president's personality. So don't be deceived and don't be manipulated and gaslighted by the liberal media and by the Democrats. Remember what gaslighting is, all those that's listening to this rhetoric. It is making you see things that you may have looked at and said, my eyes and ears see it this way, but for whatever reason, you're trying to tell me it's something different. Use your surroundings. Use your everyday experiences to gauge how impacting President Trump has been to America. If you can go outside and you're not seeing obvious problems, you're not seeing missiles fired all over the place, you're not seeing people killed in the streets, you're not seeing people drug out of their houses, you're not seeing those things in your everyday life. Don't buy into the fact that life has become horrible and now people in America are suffering. No, snowflakes are suffering because of the loss and their feelings are hurt, but other Americans are going, I don't see what the problem is. I mean, I, what? I mean, let's not make it a problem unless it's a problem. So, whoever you are, Mr. Tom's, whatever, Steimer, Stetter, Stetter, whoever, cut it out. Do not <laughs> impeach the president, y'all. Don't sign that garbage. Don't make this guy think he's making headway. Uh, you know, if they put that paper in front of me talking about, can we get your signature? We're trying to impeach the president. I say, sure. Hold on for a second. Let me grab the paper and the ink pen and I pull it right up to my face like this and go. There you go. And put it right on his shirt. That's how I feel about it. Anyway, so I'm a little upset about it, but the commercial made me mad, man. I saw it and I said, what is this guy doing? And I commented on it about it on another video before, but this guy's persistent. He's like dead serious. And that's ridiculous. So anyway, it's crazy. It doesn't make sense, but you know how it is, man. You cannot make sense out of this nonsense that's going on around in America nowadays. Anyway, you've been listening to Kevin at Kevin's Corner. If you are in Kevin's Corner, hit like. Make sure you share the video. Continue to support. Leave your comments in the bottom. And those that have been donating to Kevin's Corner, I thank you. Those that uh, have chosen to donate or have, will choose to donate, there are links in the bottom. You can find them, how to do that. And also, you can look me up on other social media networks as well. Those links are also on the bottom. God bless you. Let's continue to make America great again, even though everybody running around, throwing fits, or trying to keep America from becoming great again. And it's ridiculous. You know...
And I know people are going to be like, you know what, this guy, he just, he's horrible. I can't believe he's out here supporting Donald Trump. Well, you know what? We're just talking about the truth. All right. But you know how it is today. Truth is a new hate speech. So God bless you. Take care.